last of the mini paint projects, the kitty stool. I hope you enjoyed that last show. That was a full eight hour day of painting mini accessories and items here in Rocky Pine. <laughs> that was a long day. I had intended to paint this as well and I was just like, I'm over it for the day. So now it's mid morning. Got lots of things planned for today, but I thought I would give this a whirl before I go out. Got some errands to run and see how this how this goes. I'm using the slant brush and so far so good. I didn't do any sanding on this. It's not like I'm looking for perfection here. If you've been watching me, you already know that. So painting, painting and decided to use this brush over that thicker round brush. Not sure why, I guess just because of the feel of things and I'm getting a little bit better at determining what I should use. So yeah, painting, doing laundry, gonna head out to uh, the post office, I don't know, Walmart, I gotta exchange a couple things and I've got to, I really wanna get to all these, but I've been there, I think once or twice now. I don't know, I just keep going back to Walmart as a go-to and I really don't want to, but that's what I do. So hopefully that will change soon. Anyways, not so bad for first few strokes here. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> And I'm going to take this little brush and do the edges and down this way and in here. And then, yeah, I will uh, show you when it's completed. Um, maybe not now, maybe in the mini series that's going on of the uh, tiny house here showing you up close and personal organization and decorating. Okay, so not only do I hope you join that series, but on to other things now on the to-do list and hope you'll join. <music>out and about now look guys I couldn't wait this is what I just picked up after mailing an order a say it display it order thank you very much you know who you are they ordered the faith minis but look at this glass wood storage I am stoked and world's smallest pillow Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. I am going to so enjoy putting my head on this pillow. Right now, I lean it on uh, Andy. <laughs> Won't have to squish him anymore. He can breathe. Let's see if we can get this out. Glass food storage. Fresh guard seal, fresh up to two times longer. 100% leak proof. No trapped food, hypoallergenic, nice. I'm excited. Can't wait to get home and open these up. A few more errands to go. Oh no, it's another food haul. Anybody home to carry in the groceries? And the junk food monster got me this time. Yeah. Haven't eaten in a while. This was um, mid-afternoon lunch. Last time it was an orange. Woo! Got some toilet paper. That's a good thing. Literally 17 things on this list. 17. I don't know. It doesn't look like 17 items here. Let's go check it out.
It's all inside. Are you excited to see what I got? Okay, let me show you. But first, 140.08. If you saw the last show I did on the food hall, I think we were right in the same vicinity. That's pretty strange. $140. I don't know. I probably spend between $150 and $200 a month on food. I'm not sure. All right, some of these things have been out of the freezer refrigerator for a while. So we're gonna get going here. Tony's, haven't had Tony's in forever. And then we have chicken egg rolls, yum. Just a few quickies here. Beef steak country fried, never had this. Put in the comments, what's your favorite frozen uh, fast meal? Microwave meal. We used to call them TV dinners. Yes, I grew up on these. This one is Salisbury steak. Woo! And we got fancy here. Marie Callender sesame chicken bowl. Put your favorites in the comments. When I was out shopping today, I was thinking about you and some of the comments you made on things to buy. So it's all your fault. Beef stroganoff, yum. Somebody asked me um, why I bought brand names over the like the great value, and I go back and forth. I think it depends upon my mood for the day and what the ingredients are, sugars, carbs. Not that I pay that much attention, but I do a little bit. Mango chunks for the for the Nutribullet for the smoothies. Y'all gave me some great ideas. I need to make a recipe booklet now. Zucchini blend and Brussels sprouts. This was something where y'all were like, somebody was like, this is much better than canned because canned now is known to have a impact on Alzheimer's. I don't know. You listen to one person, they tell you one thing. You listen to somebody else, they tell you something else. Life is confusing. I want to keep it simple. You know. All right. Let's get the cold stuff now. Oh my gosh, I haven't had lunch meat since, since I moved in here. I might have gotten some salami, yeah. But I was not in the mood because of all the years on the road. It's funny to say years. Yeah, over three years. Medium cheddar, so now I'm hungry for some turkey breast. I used to buy these when I would stay overnight at Walmart or rest area. Good little snacker here. Oh, somebody taunted me with how much they like pimento spread, so I haven't had this in forever. Another one of you, butter so much better than margarine. So there we are, we got butter now. <laughs> I put a butter dish in the whisk list. The wish list. You know, that wish list can be my wish list too. That's not a uh, hint, hint. I'm just saying. I also put a, uh, a Berkey in there. I can't afford a Berkey, but I can put it in my wish list and maybe someday I will, you know? Uh, classic iceberg salad. Yes, haven't had this in a while. I normally buy spinach or I like a romaine blend, but I went inexpensive today. I don't know why, because it all adds up in the end, right? We got some uh, vanilla flavor for French toast. I was missing vanilla flavor. And I don't know. I know this is a lot of sugar too, but there you have it. I like a little cold drink like this in the morning with breakfast. So we got that. Olives, would buy these on the road sometimes. Just keep them in my cooler. This is a splurge. I'm not one for flavored coffee, but my coffee doesn't stay hot. In this cute little awesome gift, this Mr. Coffee, but I don't know what it is. I must let it sit too long. So I'm using Coffee Mate again, just the regular stuff, and I got this chocolate cream. Sometimes my second cup I can do a flavor. Oh my gosh, this was random. I love lima beans. They're my all-time favorite, and you can very rarely buy, I've not seen too often, these little mini cans of, of limas, so I was totally stoked with that. 
We've got eggs that need to go in the refrigerator. Excuse me while I do some of that. How long do you, uh, you know, drive to a store where your groceries are out for a while? I mean, I got gas and I went over to the Dollar Tree and after I bought groceries, so that probably wasn't good. I should have done those things first. Uh, this was, I always uh, get drawn to, that, to the baked goods that are uh, reduced. So this is saved a dollar, 15, I think it says, 15 or 16, one of those two numbers. $1.97, banana nut loaf for breakfast. Raisin cinnamon, this was a splurge. I haven't had this in over a year. Do you shop like that too? Like you, for the longest time you just, or do you buy the same things over and over? Um, burger buns, haven't had buns in a while. Now, a couple of you made comments and you know, and I'm happy for you. I'm a vegetarian, I eat all healthy. Um, I know you're just sharing, <laughs> like as if I was vegetarian, I would just share with you all vegetarian um, on my channel here, but at the same time, it's like, well, that's good, I'm happy for you, but it's not, it's not how I'm uh, managing my life, and someone else made a comment that their dad, who was like in his 80s or 90s, he said the the uh, graveyards are full of people who ate healthy. So she was trying to make me feel better. That was kind of, that was, that was funny, it was sweet. But I know you're not trying to make me feel bad when you tell me you're a vegetarian. You're just letting me know about you, but I can't remember who said it. And I don't know if I've ever met you or not. I, I don't know, it, it's okay. <laughs> I just don't want negative comments about what I'm eating. You know, someone said, oh, that's a lot of junk food last time. Um, and I had a whole array here of cabbage and carrots and celery and, and good lettuce and spinach. And, and the only thing they pulled out of it was it was a lot of junk food. So that those kind of things just uh, give me that LOL, you know? Bananas! There was no ripe bananas, but they'll ripen in a day or two. And then we have Fuji apples. These are supposed to be crisp on the sweet side. I was actually in the produce aisle Googling, you'd think I would know at 63 what kind of apple is what kind of flavor. Nope, not me. The only thing I know is like off the top of my head is Red Delicious. Um, but uh, these were like $4.97 for three pounds. No, $4 for three pounds. There was ones that were three pounds for $6, like the, um, oh, I forget, the Pink Lady. Um, another really good one honey crisp they were more expensive so I, I weigh it out Fuji it is you save about 50 cents when you buy them in a bag and then we have a yellow onion I'm thinking about a burger with an onion and then I'm thinking about potatoes with onion so I don't eat a lot of onion but when I do I think ahead about what I might want to use it for a cucumber from to freshen up my salad Last time I ended up probably throwing out about a third of the cucumber. I don't eat them fast enough. You have to come over and help me. And so that's that. Oh, this was one of you people. If this is your fault, the dairy-free coconut milk. Someone said coconut water, but I'm gonna try this coconut milk. Does any, any of you drink this? Yum. Okay, and then what do we got here? Oh yes, cranberries. This morning I was gonna make oatmeal and I was just like, I don't want the bland oatmeal. And I normally put granola with my oatmeal um, or some raisins, but uh, sometimes those dry things now are getting to my throat. And so I went with cranberries. They're a little on the sweet side, but maybe in the oatmeal they'll taste really good, right? How cute is this? I want my grandkids around so we can eat heart Cheerios together. This was the only kind they had, a limited edition, Happy Heart Shapes. So, Grand Sweet Peas, if you're watching, come over and eat uh, Heart Cheerios with Grandma. Yum. Okay, and we've got ginger ale here on the floor. I love my ginger ale. That's about, I like orange and root beer, Sprite sometimes, but ginger ale is my go-to. It just, I don't know, it's a comfort drink to me. Sure is better than back in the day when my comfort drink was beer. Woo! 
31 years now. It'll be, yeah, 31. I think 31, yeah, 31. Is it going to be 32 in September? I can't remember right now. I'm talking too fast. My brain's going like this. I know you can tell. Okay, we've got the essentials. I have six rolls, but I don't know. Just so I, you know, I don't know. Like, I don't want to, I don't know where to store these either. Like, I, out of sight, out of mind. I'll probably put them on top of my dryer towards the back. Although my dryer has a little, about, oh, I don't know, eight or ten inches behind it. And they could drop behind there, so I don't want that to happen. And then, paper towels. Those aren't totally essential, but they kind of are. Then we've got a 24 pack of water because we can't afford a Berkey right now. And so we're gonna do, we put this out on the porch. Get my exercise. And then yes, last but not least, I told you the junk food monster got me today. Cheetos. I love to sit and eat Cheetos while I'm working, but Cheetos and paper and stuff don't go together. So I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Little Debbie's. On the way home, I was thinking, how long has it been since I've had Little Debbie's? 10 years, 20 years? I don't know. I was wanting some kind of breakfast treat and I picked these up before the banana nut bread. So there you have it. I'll share those with you too. Yes, Walmart gets you with this kind of stuff. These were like right in the main aisle going down the food, you know. Uh, potato chip lover. My mom was a potato chip lover. So, you know, I inherited that from her. I can't help it. And then we never want to run out of these 50 cent pies. So that's that. That's the essential junk food. I think that'll about do her. Oh, I do have a few... Oh, other personal things here. Well, not this isn't personal. I've got some green tea. I didn't used to like to drink too much tea, but now I'm finding tea is kind of like, tea makes things all better. <laughs> I'm going with inexpensive 98 cent shampoo now. I have gone as far as probably spending, I don't know, I want to say up to $6 maybe on a bottle of shampoo. Then I was watching someone on YouTube and I'm like, what's the point, Linda? Really, what's the point? Put that money into your bank account so perhaps one day I can still buy land. I'm thinking about it. Saving, saving. Sometimes I save, sometimes I splurge. And we've got, we only go around once, right? Yep. Now, do I want to regret this someday, like high cholesterol and I'm dying and, and, and things like, oh, I shouldn't have eaten that. Maybe I wouldn't be in this situation. You know, that thought plays in my head, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to totally wrap my brain around it because um, I don't sit here and eat a half a bag, you know, and they'll last me a little while. I do love chips. Once I get started, I won't lie but it's not like I'm every day just snacking away. I do my salads. You know, you can see some of the things that I do that are okay. Right? Right. And then we have nail polish remover. And this is a first. Do any of you use aloe vera? I'm going to use this for digestion, maybe for the, um, I don't know, acid reflux or the, um, you know, whatever it might be that you know, sometimes it makes me cough and stuff. I'm thinking I might have a little of that. So I'm gonna try this out, aloe vera. Yeah, that was pretty inexpensive too. And then I bought some fun things. I bought a pretty nail polish. You like? I like, it's been a long time. Oh, eyeshadow. I don't know how to put eyeshadow on, but I pretend. So I'm gonna put eyeshadow on. I love these colors. I think this was called, some of you sometimes want, back in the day ask me like what you know what the colors are. This is called I don't see what it's called. It had a fun name to it. Oh well. It has like four colors of brown. See? And then we also have coral berry. I've been using coral berry forever. I'm not a pinky, except when I have pink on. <laughs> Okay, so that'll about 
doer for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this second food haul. Um, the last one was probably posted, I don't know, over a month ago. I can't keep track. Sometimes I'm chattering about my shows and because I keep doing shows and I'm, I'm you know, I'm scheduling them and I, I forget when I posted them. But it's been a good two weeks now since I've done a big haul, uh, probably closer to three. And so there you have it. Come on over and we'll uh, make dinner together. Blessings in your day and joy in your food halls. Junk food and all. And healthy. What would Serene and Simple Life be without one more thing? I opened the glass food storage and just had to show you how beautiful these are. Look how nice. Three in a set. Beautiful. They're in my Amazon store and you know that drill, right? And uh, we're supposed to let people know about the small commission. Look how nice they clip. And thank you so very much. Don't have a name. That's okay. You know who you are. And I send my love and gratitude to you and to everyone who has gifted me with beautiful items. Very, very nice, right? Love it easy and you can freeze in these.